So even though Fighting Road was published by Toei Animation, it doesn't seem to be based on anything. Or at least the only things that I can find when I search for Fighting Road in Toei is this Famicom game. It's a very early one-on-one -on -one fighting game, and I still feel like it might have been based on something. I mean, Fighting Road sounds really familiar for some reason. In Fighting Road, you're a martial artist who's gone to Brazil on the trail of his lost twin brother. You face a series of seven opponents on your way up the Amazon to find him. In these battles, you have to win two rounds against your opponent, though they only have to knock you down once to defeat you. The B button punches, the A button kicks, and if this was a fighting game made a few years later, that would be everything you need to know. Our Fighting Road has a lot of moves that require some very precise inputs. A jump kick requires that you press forward and up and A all at the same time. If the timing is slightly off, then you'll likely just jump forward and not attack. Similarly, there's a spin kick if you press up, A, and B simultaneously. And then there's the moves so difficult to pull off they might as well be impossible. For example, you can bounce back up and attack when you're knocked down. That requires you pressing A and B right as you hit the ground, then hitting A again. You can also grab and throw your opponents. I never successfully pulled that off. And I was cheating when I did that. We'll get to the cheat codes later. To execute a throw, you have to push in the direction of the opponent to grab onto them. Then press down and B. Except the grab only works if you're positioned just right, and when you do grab onto your opponent, they're still allowed to attack you, breaking the grab. So it's effectively impossible to pull off a throw maneuver. Now I'm sure that some of you are going, well, you just need some practice. The thing is, I went out and checked some Japanese sources, what few there are for this game, and they also complain that any move beyond the basic punch and kick are effectively impossible to pull off. Maybe the most annoying of all is the fireball. A fireball in a fighting game called Fighting Road... Boy, it just really sounds familiar for some reason. To execute a fireball, first your power meter has to be blinking. That's the blue bar in the middle that fills up whenever you get hit. It starts blinking at the halfway point. Then you need to crouch, then up and away from the opponent to do a high jump. If your input isn't perfect, you'll just do a low jump, and that's not good enough. And just at the moment you land, you have to press A and B simultaneously. Pull that off, and you'll start charging up your shot. And when you throw the fireball, it does half of your blue bar's length in damage to the opponent. It can be a devastating attack, but pulling it off is very difficult. So the actual best strategy to use is stick to the high kicks. Kick and back away. Kick and back away. It's boring, but it's generally effective. Something to be aware of on the controls here is that they are a bit sluggish. It's because Fighting Road attempts some very smooth animation. So when you hit an attack, you have to move into position to use it, and then perform the attack. They're trying to make it look nice, but the result is that it doesn't play as well. Although there are seven battles, your first three opponents are repeated. So you'll fight this Taekwondo man twice, this woman whose martial arts style I'm not sure of twice, and then this Muay Thai fighter twice. If you can beat them in two rounds, then you can upgrade one of your attacks. The stars tell you how strong that attack is at the moment, and the difficult to pull off maneuvers are already high level. I'd recommend just updating your basic attacks. You also get a password so that you can continue from that stage, but that's a trap. If you use the password, then you don't have any upgrades. So what I'd recommend doing instead of using those stage passwords is cheating. If you enter the password debug.mode, then when you press start, you have the ability to make some changes to the game. Pause during a fight and you can hit up to restore some health, down to fill your special gauge, and left to refill the enemy health. The effects of those only show up when someone gets hit. The A button turns on and off your invincibility, while the B button turns on and off enemy invincibility. And here's the key, 
hitting select immediately defeats the opponent. So you can use the demo mode cheat, then just hit select to advance stages until you're back to where you were. And by doing it this way, you can get your upgrades in between matches. There is no proper continue, just the passwords, so this is really the best option. There's another debug mode that you can access by holding down A and B and hitting reset. That opens up a sound test and graphics viewer. I found fighting in Fighting Road to be really frustrating. I spent a lot of time going, what am I doing wrong? I had a chart of all the special moves, but I couldn't pull them off consistently. Turns out the problem was the game, not me. It just requires an absurd degree of precision from the player. There's no defensive maneuvers, so you can't block or really dodge attacks. That's why the only real option for players is to do a long-ranged move like a kick, and then back away. Blocking really is a vital part of fighting games. Without it, you just can't do very much. And there's no two-player mode here. It's just you versus the AI opponents. Fighting Road is interesting as a fighting game right on the cusp of getting it. But it's not especially good even by the standards of fighting games in 1988. In Japan, Fighting Road is all but forgotten. And in this case, I feel it's appropriate. 